building tents. It makes me feel like I'm building an igloo in the snow. And I mean, this is like the closest that we'll get to something like snow because yeah. we don't get snow here. Yeah, that's very true. Hey, I'm, I'm wondering, I've been looking at these cards. What are they for? Oh my goodness. I almost forgot about these. They are postcards. Oh, I thought it would be fun to send a postcard to people to tell them how much we appreciate them. Mm, that is so cool. I, you know what? I already know who I'm going to write to. Really? Who? Oh. I think I'm going to write to my sister. Ooh, that's cool. I think I'm going to write mine to my dad. Hmm. But what to write on them? Hmm. Maybe the advent calendar has oh, yeah, yeah, a verse yeah. that we could talk about yeah, that we yeah. could see. I was looking at it. Let's, Let's see. see. What day are we on? Uh, this one, I think. See. Oh, we're in Luke 1 today. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, that's so good. Yeah, I like Luke chapter one a lot. Same. Yeah, I, same. There was a young woman named Mary who lived in the town of Nazareth. Ooh. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. Ooh. One day, something pretty incredible happened. An angel named Gabriel came to visit Mary. Really? The angel said to Mary, the Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very scared and upset when she saw the angel, as you might imagine. Yeah. But then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Okay. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. Isn't that cool? Yes. The angel also said this, your relative Elizabeth will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. Did you hear that, Patty? Yeah. It wasn't just about Mary to have a baby. Mary's relative, Elizabeth, was already pregnant too, even though it seemed impossible because cool. she was old. How do you think that you would respond to this, Angel? I mean, I think I would be pretty shocked. Mm -hmm. How about you, Patty? Yeah, I mean, I think I would also be shocked and maybe a little confused, but also kind of excited, right? Because the God would want to use me in this amazing way. Yeah, if we continue reading, we see Mary's reaction. Okay. I serve the Lord, Mary answered. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left. <laughs> Do you know what Mary did next? No. She traveled to see Elizabeth, oh. to see if what the angel had said was true. Now, Mary is Elizabeth's cousin. Okay, so here we are. Mary arrived at Elizabeth's house in the hill country of Judea. Now, remember, the angel had told Mary that Elizabeth was pregnant, mm -hmm. even though she seemed way too old to have a baby. Mm. When Elizabeth first heard Mary, the baby inside of her jumped. Elizabeth said to Mary, God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you would have. But why is God so kind to me? Why has the mother of my Lord come to me? As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside of me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. The next part that we read here in the Bible is a song of praise that Mary sang to God. Uh-oh, uh I, I, I can't sing very well. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't know if Mary sang these words or if she just kind of said them, kind of like a poem maybe. Okay. But either way, these words of Mary are words that she shared from her heart. Okay, then 
I'm just gonna read it like a poem. Oh, because you guys don't need to hear her sing. Yeah, we really don't need to hear her sing. <gasps> just kidding. <laughs> My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me, even though I am not considered important. He has helped the people of Israel who serve him. He has always remembered to be kind to Abraham and his children through the years. He has done it just as he promised to our people long ago. I'm going to use that first part in as a poem in my letter. Oh. I, man, I knew that we would find the perfect verse yep. from this advent calendar. Yes. At this point, Mary didn't know the whole story yet. She was just beginning to understand how her life would fit into God's bigger plan. But because she trusted God, she was able to find peace when she heard this completely. You know, sometimes it's hard to see God's bigger plan. Mm -hmm. For me growing up, I was good with kids. I used to volunteer with kindergartners when I was in sixth grade. And then I started to volunteer more in the church when I was in seventh grade. And from there, God has given me amazing opportunities so cool. to serve kids in amazing ways. Mm -hmm. When I first started in ministry, I had no idea that God would open up the door for me to even work here at Crossroads. But now look at me with an amazing job working with an amazing boss. <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen, but I trusted God and his plan for my life. Of course, we know everything the angel told Mary came true. Mm -hmm. Mary did bring Jesus, God's son, into the world. Elizabeth and her husband, Zachariah, had a son too, whose name was John. Mm -hmm. John would go on to prepare people's hearts to put their faith in Jesus. Cool. It was all part of God's good plan. Here's what we can remember from Mary's story. You can have peace because God has a plan. How do we remember this when we don't have peace? Hmm. You know, you may be going through things like being left out or maybe your parents are fighting. What else might we be going through? I don't know. Maybe you're unsure about your schoolwork or maybe you're on a sports team and it's kind of tough. Remember, we can have peace because God always has a good plan for the world and for each of our lives. I feel like I, I want to pray about that and I want to ask God to help us understand that. Okay. Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we were able to learn a lot about you today. God, I pray that we would put our trust in your plan just like Mary and Elizabeth did. God, I thank you that you sent your Savior to um, to the world for us. And in your only prayer, amen. Amen. Okay. I'm so excited to finish this letter and send it to my dad. I think that I'm gonna write a letter to all of my friends and family. Oh, good idea. It's always be good to remind to remind those about God's amazing love and yeah. his amazing plan for us. Yep. Oh, me too. I might do that too. Yeah, okay. I love it. Let's go.